guys welcome back to the channel um, quite an exciting one today something's arrived in the post as the uh, the winter months are looming they're not here yet it's still quite hot but I'm preempting the cold on the way so what I'm gonna do is fit a well one of these little bad boys Ta -da. excuse the uh, high heels by the way they're not mine just in case anyone was wondering um, there you go. Oh, not much room in there. Um, yeah, there's the tank. 10 litre uh, diesel tank with like fixing holes so you can screw it to the wall or whatever. I'll probably uh, put that just there. No, I'm joking. That's that. I have already had a quick look inside, but this is pretty much how it came. Um, there's the diesel heater itself. So you've got um, intake there, air goes in there from outside or in the cabin, whatever. Fresh air, and then that is the same air, but hotter. So that's your heated air. In here, got some like ducting and a vent. Now that ducting should, as I try and do this with one hand, yeah, so that, that like goes in there and then the idea of that is to go through if I can get it first time there we go oh maybe you see that little bit there that is going to come out of there great camera skills there but yeah that's going to go in that like bit there so the diesel heater itself that is going to go under the front seat in the engine compartment and then that's going to come through here and then out of there so then the hot air will fill up this little footstep here and waft into the bongo. That's the idea. Uh, what else do we get? Controller. Don't know where to put that yet. I'll probably put it up there behind the driver's seat, like by the curtain thing somewhere. I don't know. Or maybe that side. A lot, a lot of people put them there, but I think I'm going to put it that side if the cable reaches so that I can get to it from the driver's seat and start stuff so I'm gonna keep getting in and out but to be fair you do also get one of these with it not quite sure what it does I'm assuming just turns it on and off with a remote I'm assuming that's for uh, temperature control don't know to wait and see once we've got it installed but quite handy because if that's what it does then I could probably put the controller up there because then it's just a straight run down the down the doodah into the engine bay but got to figure all this out yeah it's going to be it's going to be a few parts of this video i think rather than doing it in one video i'm going to do it in a few different parts there's an exhaust silencer this all came in the kit by the way i got it direct from uh vev vev or v vivo Viva, whatever got it from them uh how much was it 85 pounds i think delivered to my door I ordered it on Tuesday today is Friday and it's arrived it's pretty good I think 85 quid you can get them on Amazon and eBay and stuff like that but they're about 160 quid for the equivalent from what I can see um, yeah like I say you get all these bits with it so a little diesel filter there a little fuel filter some Jubilee clamps fuel line clamps uh, nuts and bolts cable ties Whatever that is, I think that's to hold the pump. Speaking of pump, where's the pump? Ah, there's the pump. Ugh. There's the little pump, so that just plugs into, I assume, one of these. A little wiring harness, that one there, I think. Um, and these have to be, from what I've read, these can't be mounted like that, and they can't be mounted like that. They have to be at or near 45 degrees. No idea why, it's probably like a little diaphragm pump or something. It needs to be set at that sort of uh, angle. Anyway, if that's what they want, that's what I'll do. Got this little bracket here. Probably not going to use that. Probably going to end up getting one off uh, a chap on Facebook, on the old Bongos Club. Bongo Owners Club, whatever it's called. What else we got? Intake hose. So, obviously it's... Uh, little combustion engine sort of thing in there so it's going to be needing fresh air to burn so that goes in there 
and that goes in there. That's the exhaust. Little air filter. It's not really a filter, it's more just like plastic holes. There's nothing in there that I can see. There you go. But it just stops any dogs getting sucked in or something. Might get the odd ant. I suppose you could, you could put a little bit of foam or something in there, can you? Just to bring the particle size down a little bit if you're worried. Um, yeah, then that just goes on on there. Sorry, it's really hard to film this with one hand. Uh, what else? That's about it. Oh, and some fuel line. Now, this is notorious to not work, apparently. But, in the interest of science, I'm going to give it a go and see if it works. If not, well, I'm going to try it, but I'm going to replace it anyway, either way. Because that's what I've been told to do. But you can swap it for, in old money, three sixteenths of an inch. I don't know what that is in new money. Uh, what's that, six mil, something like that? Five mil, four mil, I don't know, I'll have to have a look. Um, yeah, the, basically the copper brake line stuff, you can just swap it for that and use that instead. And then it should work a bit better. But yeah, that's about it really. Wire and harness, what have I missed? That's the, the muffler, exhaust, silencer thing. The exhaust. Now obviously, if you're putting the diesel heater in here, and it's pulling air around underneath from there, sort of area, then you're gonna want a longer one of these as well. What's that, half a meter, something like that? Apparently you need about two meters of it, of the upgraded one, because that is just literally a bit of metal tube. It's like corrugated, to, so it's flexible, but I, I'm probably gonna destroy the, uh, how you say it, Herbispatcher or whatever it is, where Bastos and I want to think. But they do a better um, one of these, which is like a lagged one as well, I think. I'm sure they're insulated, which is a bit of a bonus. Um, but yeah, so if you get a two meter one of these, you can run it across to the other side of the van so that the exhaust goes out that side. So then if you've got your exhaust going out here and then your fresh air coming into the the uh, thingy it's not going to suck up any exhaust air if that made any sense whatsoever probably didn't but yeah the other thing is some people put the intake so the air that's getting heated so like like say cold air is going in gets warmed up doo -doo 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 -doo, and then comes out through there into the van now some people say you should have the intake the air that's coming in from inside the van um, and some people say you should have it from outside the van so it's fresh air coming in getting heated and coming into the van rather than air that's in the van but if you're doing air in the van then it's already sort of warm enough or warmer um, so it's less work on that so I'm probably gonna opt for outside air it's gonna use a bit more diesel bit less efficient but then I know it's fresh air coming into the van so you know you're not sort of recirculating the, the air that you're breathing and all that sort of thing because in the winter all the windows are normally be shut we'll probably have a, like a these little vent window things open I suppose just to get a bit of fresh air as well but I don't know I don't know why some people do it some people don't I don't know whatever suits you really um, if you do take it from inside the van then you can drill a little hole in the footwell of the uh, the passenger seat, like the other side. See that lump thing of this? You can drill a hole there, but on, on the other side of the seat. So it pulls air in through the footwell, through the little diesel heater, and then outside of the, the little vent thing. Because when this is shut, That's where all your heat will go, so it will come out into, uh, you can't really see that very well. Uh, no, won't let me use the flash. And that, oh, there you go, it's made no difference. Anyway, all the heat will come out into that step and then waft up and in, into the van, basically. It's like a curtain of warm air. So yeah, it should, should be all right. Anyway, that's like 10 minutes of me rambling on and just showing you, but... We haven't done anything yet, so 
that's just a little introduction to the kit. That's the Vevor. Oh, I didn't mention as well, it's the two kilowatt one. Apparently five kilowatts too pokey for this sort of size van. They're more for like bigger vans, sprinters, stuff like that. And they're a bigger unit, the five kilowatt. Whereas this two kilowatt is actually a smaller size, so it fits easier. But not only that, is you can run these at full whack in the winter. Um, and then it will sort of take the uh, de soot the engine, or not the engine, the combustion chamber, whatever you want to call it, inside the heater. So if you run it at full blast, it sort of keeps the, the soot off it. Um, whereas, not that you're going to be running it all the time at full blast, but it's nice to be able to now and again. Uh, whereas a five kilowatt one in one of these, especially with the insulate and stuff, if you if you put loads of rock wall and stuff like that in there, um, it's going to be too much if you run it on full blast and it's just going to end up sooting up and getting all minging. So that's what I understand anyway. I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure that's how it is. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, obviously, subscribe down below. Uh, if you haven't, to follow along with this, me attempting to fit it. Um, um, yeah. I've got from now till what we know, September. I don't know. I've got eight weeks till it's going to start getting cold, I reckon. Maybe 10 weeks, I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.